Established in the mid-1800s, the Wagner Ranch has grown to more than a half million acres and has the unique distinction of being known as the largest ranch under one fence. It's quite an operation. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Metters. Welcome to the May edition of America's Horse. This month we're spending some quality time in Texas, starting with the Wagner Ranch, who has a new bronze for its already decorated trophy case. The American Quarter Horse Association, in conjunction with the National Cattlemen's Association, has bestowed its annual Remuda Award on this ranch, honoring it for its outstanding production of ranch horses. In a state known for its sprawling cattle ranches, the W.T. Wagner Estate has somehow found a way to separate itself from the pack. This North Texas monster is 520,000 acres strong and covers the better part of six counties. The ranch was founded by Dan Wagner in 1849 after he left East Texas with only 14 head of cattle, one gray filly, and $3.45 in cash. But it was his son Tom, or W.T., who brought the ranch to national prominence. W.T. worked with other North Texas ranchers to lay the foundation for the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association. He even developed a friendship with Comanche Chief Quanta Parker and grazed cattle on Indian lands for many years. Today the headquarters for the W.T. Wagner Estate is located in Vernon, Texas, just 50 miles west of Wichita Falls. The ranch is diversified with interests in oil, cattle, horses, and farming. The cowboys who serve the famous Backward Deep brand are extremely loyal. Take horse foreman Wes O'Neill. He's called the Wagner Ranch home for 35 years. And ranch manager Jimmy Lee Smith is in his 36th year of service. The ranch is loaded with career cowboys. No doubt there's a strong partnership between the ranch and the cowboy. The reason you stay as long as you do is, uh, first of all, you love where you're at. You want to raise your family there. But it's uh, owners that uh, look at you, and take care of you, and uh, if you work hard, uh, they're going to take care of you. So uh, if you tend to their business, they'll tend to yours. And if there's one thing that separates this ranch from its other Texas counterparts, it's the horses. They produce only one kind of horse here, and that's a tried and true American quarter horse specializing in ranch work. The Wagner's first-rate band of working ranch horses grabbed the AQHA's attention and the 1995 Remuda Award, and that's what brings us to the Wagner Ranch. You know, this ranch has been a trailblazer when it comes to developing the ranch-style American quarter horse. Standing great stallions like Midnight and Poco Bueno, this award-winning Remuda didn't just happen, it's been decades in the making. sell horses too are very well pleased. They're all around horses. They, uh, they can go to, into the arena or you can use them on a ranch or for pleasure. So uh, they're good all around horses. The horse foreman is Wes O'Neill. He has spent his professional career here at the Wagner Ranch. In the now high-tech world of equine reproduction, this ranch still takes a very simple approach. There are no embryo transfers here, no artificial insemination. They still do it the old-fashioned way, letting nature take its course. We get 70 to 80 percent conception rate in the pasture. We kept up over the last few years. Sometimes we'll do a little better, like this year we're going to have 55 foals from 67 mares. Now this year we're breeding 75 mares, so we're, we hope we'll get 65, 66. We'd like to get more than that, but it seems like it's consistently 70, 80 percent pasture breeding is as good as we can do. Okay, we need a full draft and then 18.
As the horses come of age, they leave O'Neill's care and move on to the Remuda. Every cowboy is assigned between six and eight horses with the understanding that he'll bring each one up to the high standard set by the Wagner tradition. According to McDaniel, riding a good horse makes a statement about the kind of cowboy you are. Yeah, you gotta have a little pride in yourself to, to do that because you, if you're gonna pride in yourself, your horses will show it. If you ride a good horse, you know you shows you take care of your job, you like what you're doing. If you ride a good horse, you know you're, you're doing a good job. These sentiments are echoed by ranch manager Jimmy Lee Smith. His 36 years of experience have found that good horses and good cowboys go hand in hand. Well, we have a lot of cowboys and we still uh, work uh, all of our cattle horseback, so it's, it's indeed, uh, we, we really need good horses. And uh, if you have good horses, you're gonna have good employees. The good employees don't like, and they can't do a good job on uh, horses or not good horses. So uh, we really uh, depend on these horses a lot. <laughs> a typical spring day on the Wagner Ranch unfolds before sunrise. The task of combing the mesquite and tough North Texas terrain lies ahead. There is no easy way to bring in a never-ending supply of Hereford cattle. When the horse, cowboy, and cows all finally reach the pens, the Wagner horse must shift into a new gear. Now it's time to rope and sort the herd. After the painstaking task of checking each cow and doctoring every calf has been completed, it's on to the next pasture and the cycle starts all over again. The day ends with a final roundup, but this time it's the remuda that's brought in so wagon boss Jimbo Glover can select fresh horses for the following day. It doesn't take long to appreciate the heart and work ethic of the American quarter horse. He's been a winner on the Wagner Ranch now for decades. And they have the 1995 AQHA Remuda Award to prove it. It was a great honor to win it. We were in competition with some of the great ranches across the uh, nation and uh, uh, we're very proud of our horse, horse uh, Remuda. Uh, the bloodlines on this Remuda go back to Pocahontas, which he was a great grand champion and, uh, and it, was, it was indeed an honor, it sure was. <laughs> 